ready to move in our midst, moving in our hearts, wherever we are. Lord, we claim your righteousness alone tonight, Lord. We thank you, Father. We ask you to forgive us all our trespasses and cleanse us from every unrighteousness in Jesus' name. Take away every distraction and everything that easily beset us. Lord, lead us into your parts of righteousness. Lead us into your parts of worship, your parts of praise and thanksgiving. Lead us into your heart where you live, Lord, your being, your very beat of your heart. Help us to beat with you and to drum with you and to see music with you. God, help us and teach us to worship you tonight. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We want to come most of all to give you praise and thanksgiving. Tonight we set aside for prayer meeting and for a bit of the word to, to be revealed to us in its truth for this day, this hour, this moment, this minute, this second. Lord, give us the bread, the daily bread of the word. Help us to know what we need to do next. We need to hear from you tonight, Lord. We need to pray your prayer. Do your thing. Sing your song. Sing with our hearts and our understanding. Praise you with all our being in Jesus' name. Let everybody praise the Lord right now. Just Hallelujah. praise him on the timbrel. Praise him on the voice. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him in here. Hallelujah. Lift your voices in Jesus' name. Let truth come forth in Jesus' name. I desire you today, Lord. Hallelujah. How many desire the Lord today? Amen. How many want to lift the Lord up in the name of Jesus? You want to say, God, I love you today. Oh, God, I love you this evening. Oh, God, I love you this moment. Teach me to love you more. Teach me to follow you more. Teach me to be healed by you. To receive your healing with gladness. Receive your word with gladness in my heart right now. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I call you faithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you give him praise again? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, your name is holy, you are so holy to be. I call you holy, your name is holy, holy you are, and holy you be. I call you, I call you faith. You are and Jesus you'll be. 
faithful. You need a faithful God. Call it faithful. He is to you whatever you need him to be. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, he'll be there. He's your location. If you're in the desert, hallelujah, he can be desert. Come on. He's with you wherever you are. And he'll be the rain in the desert. Hallelujah. He is Emmanuel, God with us. You're in the fire. He's the fourth man in the fire. He could be there too. Hallelujah. Wherever you are. Hallelujah. Somebody say, call him, call him, call him, call him. Somebody say, call him by his name. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say yes. Yes, you are righteous. Your name is awesome. Your name is healer. Your name is mighty God, everlasting Father. Amen. And we thank you that Hallelujah. your loving kindness is better than life. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mephibosheth found that out. The kindness of the Lord is Amen. better than life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter you. where you are, his kindness can find you. Amen. His mercies can find Amen. you. His joy can find Amen. you. His peace can find you. He will run you down. He will seek you out. He will send the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. after you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To find out how you're doing and where Hallelujah. you are. And Speak a word into your system. Speak a word to you in due season. Somebody say his loving kindness. His loving kindness. Hallelujah. When you call him, he will be there. When you say faithful, hallelujah, he will be there. Amen. Hallelujah. What you believe of God, he will be. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What you believe in God for, he will be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If it's in God, he's going to be there with Amen. you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, Thy loving kindness is better than life. Thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee.
thing believe in the kindness of the Lord hallelujah, hallelujah. that should drive out the enemy Amen. the enemy doesn't want you to think about the kindness and the loving kindness of the Lord that is not because of something else what good you have done nothing but the blood of Jesus hallelujah. there is something tonight that we hallelujah. could pray about Amen. there is something that we could claim tonight Amen. we God wants us to touch on the Kindness. Oh, the kindness of the Lord. Somebody say the kindness of the Lord. Hallelujah. David said, is there anyone left of the house of Saul that I could show kindness? David was king of Israel. And usually they are looking for the other king to kill off all his descendants. But we could have been dead. The devil had us as his children. And the, the death sentence was towards us, but there was kindness Amen. on the throne room before the foundations of the world. The lamb was slain because of the kindness and goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. And all the Lord has to say and God has to call is saying, is there somebody in the heart of men that I could show kindness to? Where are they? Is there 
there's somebody that will come to the kindness of the Lord. If you're hearing this tonight and you've never accepted the kindness of the Lord through the Lord Jesus Christ, accept him as your savior tonight. Amen. Accept him as your savior. Accept the kindness of the Lord. Is there anyone out there that need the kindness of the Lord? You may have been walking in the kindness of the Lord and you walked away, but he's seeking you, maimed, crippled, wherever you are, you could come to the kindness of the Lord. Ah, hallelujah. There is somebody out there that's looking for the kindness of the Lord, the mercies of the Lord, the, the, the life of the Lord. He wants to give you life. He wants to let the lame, hallelujah, feet and the things that are lame in your life and broken be fixed and healed as the scripture says. Let the lame be healed. Hallelujah. Let the crooked be straight because of the kindness of the Lord. Can somebody say the kindness of the Lord? The kindness of the Lord is better. Somebody say better. Much better than life. What are you seeing as life? What are you feeling as life? What are you experiencing? What kind of life is the enemy giving you? Hallelujah. And getting you to experience it. But I want you to know it doesn't matter. His life is better than this life. Hallelujah. His life is more real because it's permanent and everlasting. Once you taste of that life and truly taste, you never want to thirst again after the world's life. And if you are in him, you've got to drink more of life so you will feel satisfied. Somebody say satisfied. I want to be satisfied with God's life. His loving kindness is for every moment of the day. Amen. Hallelujah. And he wants us to be like him. Amen. He wants us to be touched by him. Hallelujah. And feel like him. Hallelujah. Be touched with the feelings of others' infirmities. Or be touched with the feelings of your infirmity. That you will want another way for yourself. You are not satisfied with where you are. You want to go nearer to the kindness and the joy of the Lord. You want to get into the peace. Some people love a little bit of kindness and then they run back into their old ways, doing their old things because they think that kindness will satisfy them for a while. It does, but it weans out because the people around you that are just acting kind because you are in the kindness of the Lord, when that withers away, come on, and you eat more, they are not so kind anymore. Hello, somebody. Man can be kind forever. But the kindness of the Lord is everlasting, and it stays. It's truthful. It's better than the life that you and I have right now. Hallelujah. Somebody say, God is faithful. I call you faithful. Say, I call you holy. I call you righteous. We want to be righteous. Stop worrying about being righteous. Just call him righteous. Call him righteous. Call him to the platform. Call him. Call Jesus. Call him. Call him by his name. And more and more, you're going to become like him as you call him, as you communicate with him. He will call you back. He will start talking back, sending stories to you, changing your life. Hello, somebody. Sending testimonies and victories your way. Somebody say the kindness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David remembered the covenant. And he remembered Jonathan. And if J David was so caught up in the ugliness of the battle, 
he would not have remembered, even though he was king and ruling, he was not going to remember the kindness of Jonathan, which is a, like the kindness of the Lord, the kindness of the son. Hallelujah. He would not remember, but he remembered. No matter what he went through, he remembered. He remembered how the Lord blessed him to Jonathan. No matter what he went through, come on. And even though it looked tarnished because Jonathan's father was trying to kill him. Oh God, the devil could be trying to kill you, but you've got to still remember, hallelujah, Amen. the kindness of the Lord. You have to remember the Lord in the land of the living. Come on. You have to remember, no matter what is going around you, you've got to think kindness. David, David's kindness, hallelujah, came from others giving him kindness. Oh, glory to God. And if you will look around you, you will remember the kindness of how good God was to you in certain situations. And you would stop, hallelujah, for a moment and remember, hallelujah, and think about the goodness. Somebody say, think about the kindness of the Lord. And you will change your attitude. So many people are walking around upset, angry. Even if they uh, have been walking with the Lord because things are happening wrong. David could have forgotten everything. Hallelujah. But he still walked in the anointing of the Lord. And he told Saul he will not touch him or kill him. He's not going to touch the anointing of the Lord. Because he knew the anointing of the Lord was wrapped up in kindness. So he knew not to touch Saul, even if Saul was trying to kill him, he was not going to try to kill Saul. He was always going to walk in kindness and truth and forgiveness. Hello, somebody. Amen. He believed in the kindness of the Lord that was better than life. Hallelujah. When he could have killed, he did not kill. Hallelujah. When he could have harmed, he did not harm because he remembered God. And it was God he was looking at that gave him that kindness through Saul's Son, hello somebody. God will use your enemy and do something for you through, through something that happened. Hallelujah. If you are believing God and you are trusting in his kindness. So many people are just worried. When they don't see things go right, they cannot believe in the kindness of the Lord for that moment. But you and I have to keep saying, the kindness of the Lord Amen. is better than my sickness. Come on. Is better than my healing. Hello, somebody. Is better than my money in the bank. Is better than a house. Is better than land. Is better. I need God. Is better. Is better than all what I want to happen for me. The kindness of the Lord has more than that. Is better than that. Will give me more than that. Hallelujah. He says, In this world, you shall have. For mother, father, sister, if you give up everything and follow me, you for the kindness of the Lord, you've got to be kind. You've got to forgive. You've got to follow the ways of the Lord. And the first thing you have to do is love yourself enough to, to receive the kindness of the Lord. Are you hearing me? Amen. To receive the joy of the Lord. To receive the strength of the Lord at all times. Amen. Somebody say the kindness. David didn't put his hands out to touch the king. His enemies fell by their own ways. And he let God handle his own children. You leave God's children in their hands. Oh, glory to God. And you stand fast. In your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say the kindness. The kindness, the kindness, of, God. The kindness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know. Just as David found Mephibosheth. In a land of no promise. 
and nothing, a place of nothingness. No hope. When you don't have a promise, you don't have hope. That's a land of desolation and anxiety and depression and confusion because there is no hope. Hope deferred, the scripture says, makes the heart sick. A land of sickness in the mind, showing up in the body. But he was found. I want you to know wherever you are tonight, wherever I am, wherever we find ourselves, that kindness is looking for us, searching for us. We just have to cry out tonight. Tonight we are going to pray about the loving kindness and dwell on his kindness. Dwell on his kindness and how much it's going to seek us out. And when we go wrong, it's going to make a part and bring us back. So I want you to stand to your feet or kneel on the ground. And I want you where you are or sit wherever you are. Stand but ask God to change your heart and direct you to the God of kindness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just as Mephibosheth found himself back, kneeling at the feet of David. Oh God, looking for kindness there. Oh God, Lord, we are not worthy in our eyes, but we are worthy in your eyes. You see us with the eyes of kindness. You see us with the eyes of love tonight. And we're asking you to, to touch our lives. To help us, Lord. To bring us out, Lord. From every ugly situation. Lord, we want to cry out to give kindness to our family. To give kindness to our loved ones. To give kindness for those that have oppressed us and attacked us oh God to give kindness hallelujah save those that we never would believe could be saved change hearts take away wickedness from souls do something new do something to change our heart give us the kindness that will cause us to love you more hallelujah to be changed by you seek us out tonight lord we ask you to come and find us where we are and throw your kindness let the kindness like it happened in the bible follow us and find us and surround us and change us and take away our anxiety take away of mystery Trust. Take away our fears. Take away those things that need to be taken away. Fix our mind. Fix our thoughts. Fix our mouth. Our conversations. Change us. Take away the sensitive areas in our lives. Heal us from insensitivity. And, and heal us from mistrust. Let the kindness of the Lord follow us. Touch our minds. Where we have been embittered. Re Rechange us. Let kindness come in that area. Oh God, I ask you to be, help us to believe more and more that it's you doing it and not our way with man. It's the kindness of the Lord that is giving us favor. We read this story and we realize God sent someone. God sent someone to Mephibosheth. God sent someone and Lord help us to realize that you want to send someone to us. You want to send us and you want to send someone to us help us jesus help us to change help us to be healed help us to get the victory help us to lift our eyes to you from whence cometh our help our help comes from the name of the lord in the name of jesus let kindness flow let kindness flow in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We release the victory of God. We release the mercy of God. We release the changes in God. Oh God, just release, release yourself. Release yourself to accept the mercies of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Say, touch me, Lord Jesus. Heal my heart. Deliver me from all evil. Cleanse my mind from every attack. Heal my body. Heal my soul. Heal every sickness in my mind, in my head, in my body. Change my life. Change my family's life. Heal my family. Bring unity. Bring change. Deliver us from this coronavirus. In the name of Jesus. Let kindness flow. Let the kindness of the Lord flow healing through every situation in Jesus' name. Let the kindness flow in Jesus' name. Let deliverance flow. Just cry out to your God. Robo shera basheta. Reba sheta rabaseta. Reba sheka rabaseta. Reba ba 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 ba. Think of his kindness. Think of his goodness. Think of his mercy. Think of his joy. Think of his freedom. Hallelujah. Let your, the, your heart flow towards his kindness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Reba sheta rabaseta. Robo shata. And if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from every wicked way. I will hear from heaven. I will heal. I will forgive. I will heal their land. I will do something new. Oh God, help us, Lord, to turn from every wicked way, to change our mind, to change our attitude, to change the lies in our heart. In Jesus' name, let joy come. Let freedom come. Let victory come. Let healing come in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let the plans of the Lord for our lives and for our children. Hallelujah. Come right now. Let the victory come. Let mercy come. Let goodness come. Let self-control come. Let healing flow. In our churches. In our homes. In in our families let the victory come in the name of Jesus bring families together with loving kindness bring strength Lord just like David hallelujah was reconnected with a family member of a, a brother he took as a brother Lord let our families be reconnected in the house of the Lord let the table be full with the family praying together staying together have victory together being healed together change Lord and let our families be saved trans Third, translated into the kingdom in, of his own dear son. Oh, thank you, God, for the father. Thank you, God, for the son. Just begin to pray. Just begin to pray and cry out. Oh, if you can't pray, start to speak in tongues. Just lift your hands, but concentrate on the Lord. Do something. Hallelujah. God is moving. Holy angels are here to do your bidding as you cry out as you cry out that the angels will go through your homes through your cars wherever you're listening wherever you're doing through this church hallelujah 
God will move. Angels are around. Things are happening. Things are shifting. Things are changing even now. Keep on praying, church. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Wherever you are, keep on believing. Keep on receiving. Let the children feel the Holy Spirit and teach them the fear of the Lord. Let our young people have the fear of the Lord and the mercy of the Lord. That is kindness. Come on. That is kindness. The fear of the Lord. The healing of the Lord. The fear of the Lord brings the wisdom. You want our children to be well versed. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Reba Sheta. Lord, I pray for movement. There are some people that are trying so hard and they can't see movement in their situations. I am seeing. Come on, just keep praying. Just keep praying and teach our families to pray. Hallelujah. Just keep praying. There are some people that right now are receiving movements in of the spirit of the lord wherever you are wherever you are there are movements there are things happening there are victories hallelujah hallelujah that are coming through with the love of God and the mercy of God in our lives now hallelujah hallelujah we pray for our governments we pray we pray for our children. We pray for all the things that the, the devil is trying to get his hand into. We pray against lies in high places. We pray for victory in the camp. God, that you will save your people. God, that you will give your people wisdom. God, that you will do a healing in our government. We pray for, for our mayor. We pray for... The, the ones that are in control, Lord, we thank you for Ford. We thank you, Lord, that you're going to bless him. We pray kindness upon him. Let mercy flow. We pray for everywhere and the government, hallelujah, that are in place, that, Lord, you will begin to show them, hallelujah, what your kindness looks like. What your mercy looks like. Oh God, help us. Hallelujah. As a people to extend mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let love continue in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Purify our hearts. Purify our hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying there's more than a miracle happening. Hallelujah. There's a miracle of more. You that have been waiting for movements to see things happen. God is saying he's about to burst the dam. Oh, you could give him praise. You could give him praise. He's about to burst the dam. God is about to burst the dam. Hallelujah. It's going to flood. It's going to rain. Movement is going to be happening. Change is going to be happening. For some of us, we'll see things that we didn't see before we've been praying. But the dam is going to burst. The dam is going to burst. And there's a movement and a rushing and a flowing and a strength that's happening. Even there's changes in our minds. A dam is about to be open and busted. Somebody say, busted. Broken, cast away everything in my way. Hallelujah. It's busted, broken, and cast away in Jesus' name. Every attack is busted, broken, and cast away in Jesus' name. 
The dams are being broken, church. The dams are being broken. People are going to come to the Lord. People are going to understand there is favor. There's things happening all over in Jesus' name. Let the Lord bless you. Oh God, let the Lord keep you. Let his face shine upon you. And let his peace be with you. I pray for those, hallelujah, that are in need of prayer. Oh God, that you will change lives. That you would bring healing and deliverance. Hallelujah to those that are needing prayer tonight. And for people that have called in and asked for prayer. I pray for the loved ones. In the name of Jesus, that God is going to touch them. God is going to heal. God is going to deliver. God is going to set free. Now, in Jesus' name. And I want you to know no weapon formed Amen. shall prosper. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Somebody say the victory. Victory is mine. 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 Healing is mine. Joy is mine. Life is mine. Change is mine. I've got the victory in Jesus' name. Just begin to pray for the last few minutes. Just pray in tongues. Reba sheta rabaseta. Robo sheta rabasata. In the name of Jesus. Just walk around and get your victory. Just get your change. Just move like those movements. Come on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Move from where you are to somewhere else. As a symbol of God's goodness. And God's mercy. And his loving kindness. Only believe all things are possible. All things are possible. Only believe. Yes, yes. As God's people are moving, he's given me words for you. Wherever you are and you're not in here, the, the people that are in here, they're moving around and God is moving. Wherever you are, begin to move around. God is moving. God is changing. Get up from where you are in the name of Jesus. Don't sleep. Get up and begin to walk and begin to talk to Jesus. Hallelujah. Shake off your mind. Shake off that mind and begin to think of something new. Change is coming. Victory is coming. Healing is coming. Deliverance is coming. In Jesus' name. Reba Shata Reba Sata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Reba Shekarababa. Reba Shita Reba Sata. In the name of Jesus. You won't leave here like you came. In Jesus' name. Bound, oppressed, tormented, sick or lame. For the Holy Ghost of Acts is still the same. You won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. Say, I'm not leaving here like I came in Jesus' name. I won't leave this prayer meeting like I came in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, help me now. Heal me now. Set me free. Come, Holy Spirit. Visit me. Help me be my comforter, my guide in Jesus' name. Oh, shout to the Lord. You're going to break through in Jesus' name. You're going to break through. You're going to break through. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is joy in the name of Jesus. There is victory in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name. Of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. To
to break every chain. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. I feel the chains falling off of you. I feel the chains. even right this moment and chains are falling off of you right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah I feel the chains falling off Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, there is victory in the camp. And there is life. There is life coming where you're feeling something drained. There is life coming back to that area of your life. In Jesus' name. I know you're never alone, never alone. He's promised never to leave you alone. And no weapon formed against you will prosper. Thank you, Jesus. Church, we are in a good place. We are situated in the kindness of the Lord. We are at the king's table whenever we want to eat. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight for your goodness and your mercy that follows us all the days of our lives. We thank you that there is joy and victory in the camp. There's peace, healing, financial freedom change happening in the name of Jesus. God has appointed some things to some of us that are specific and they are going to happen. Hallelujah. He's put it in your mind and he will fulfill it. It's through the kindness of the Lord. And God, we just thank you tonight for all that you've done for the healing touches, for the victory, for the changes, for life-changing situations. Thank you, God. Free us now to 
continue in your love and your kindness. Father, we thank you that you let goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives. And you cause us to dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And I bless you, church. I bless all of you that are looking in and, and listening in. I pray you have a good night's sleep. And I pray that you will hold fast to his loving kindness in Jesus' name. God bless you and see you on Sunday at 1130. God bless you. Good